welcome to the Fuji booth here at Internetcon Japan. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined by two gentlemen from the robotics division, uh, the chief technology officer, which is uh, Shinzuki Suhara, uh, and uh, one of the managers from the robotics division, Michael uh, in Agaki. Uh, so welcome, gentlemen. Nice to see you. Uh, so what I want to look at uh, this, this week is a new system you've got for uh, supplying materials to the line. Uh, obviously, one of the biggest problems in a smart factory is machine downtime because you can't get the materials there quickly enough. Uh, tell us a little bit about this system that we've got behind us. Okay, the system is that you program by the program. You get the program from the machine for the next job. And then the system will realize what kind of reels that is necessary to prepare in advance. So it will automatically receive the signal and then prepare by the jobs. Once the, this S-Tower receives the jobs, it will prepare the reels coming out automatically and then put on this AGV and then it goes to the line automatically. So, so it retrieves the, the, the reels from this tower here. This is a, this is a proprietary tower that is now, it's now a Fuji uh, built tower. Uh, which holds up to 1,500 reels, is that correct? That's right. And um, how many reels can it, can it bring down at one time? One by one. So it brings out the, the reels individually and loads them into one of these three, uh, three uh, pallets there uh, to deliver to the, to the line. Yes, that's right. And... Uh, so, um, has this done quite a lot? Have you done any calculations to work out how much time it reduces uh, uh, to help uh, uh, supply the line? This system is used to use how much downtime is used to use the time to use the time to use the time to use the time Mm. For the normal production conditions uh, in environment, we see roughly one reel changeover per minute, in one minute. So this will cover those downtimes. Minimize. Right. Right. Okay. Well, that's uh, quite an exciting development. Um, can I ask you, Michael, when, when you have uh, the CTO here, um, what, where do you think the future is going with regards to, to feeder changeover? Uh, do you think these, that there is going to be systems introduced that will automatic, automate that process? In the future, the feeder changeover, the feeder changeover, how will it be? The future will be all automated. In the future, we think, we believe that everything becomes automatic. In the future, we think, we believe that everything becomes automatic. Um, great, okay. So, um, what are the next steps for your Nexim uh, Smart Factory software? Smart Factory software no, the next step is what? The next step is the next step is the next step is the next step. The next step will be the challenging of uh, quality, improving the quality, mm -hmm. so that the system will receive all the error rates, error root codes, and then calculate by themselves, and then uh, reflect to the machine. Right, so this is using artificial intelligence to interpret the data uh, to, re to reduce the, the, the error rate. That's right. That's right. That will be the challenge, next challenge. Well, I, th I think we live in very interesting times, gentlemen, uh, and uh, I want to thank you both uh, for joining us uh, today. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you much. much.